We're playing for some prize money. Top three prizes, by the way, guys. Type three prizes. Once again, random guns, three weapons on the floor. You choose what three guns you want. Random map each time. We're going to be going down one. You guys don't get to choose the map. You guys must stay in bounds of every single map or you will be eliminated for free. And done. Game number one, Suhei versus Gamer1. All right, first game of the event, Suhei versus Gamer1 YouTube. Suhei taking minigun and magnum. And Gamer deciding to take single pistol and magnum. Interesting choice. I would have thought for sure that the minigun would get picked up from both sides here. Suhei honestly deciding to be the aggressor right now on the left side. Remember, this is a double elimination one game tournament, which means if you get out of the first game, you are not out of the tournament yet. You will have a second chance. Revolver shot being shot from both sides. So far, Gamer landing most of the shots. Suhei is going to try to back off for now. Might have gotten seen there. Heard him healing around the wall and Gamer takes down Suhei. First game. All right, Suhei will go and wait for a little bit in the loser's bracket. And next, we will be taking Ma... Oh, I'm actually gonna skip that game for now. I didn't realize that the Shade Throne was at the top. We're gonna be taking Mega64 and Draven. Saw security, Mega versus Draven. Now these are ultra weird weapons. So I know that if Draven lose, he's already gonna perma cry about the weapons, man. All right, so as long as they do not leave the square, they will be good to go. Shots missing from both. Draven's gonna be one HP and Draven goes down to Mega. Specialty weapons are not Draven's strong suit. Brony uses gamer weapons. He's never played a support role in his life. I right, Zai versus Saver up next. Double elimination bracket, and I foresee a long loser's bracket run for Draven if he decides to play. Default Otter versus Zai. Zai hitting a early Sparrow there. Two Sparrows hit, three Sparrows hit. Got to cup a little bit, trying to hit a Dart Fly. Dart Fly does not land. Half HP for both players, no armor for Default Otter. Kind of hiding behind the plane wall. Trading shots, nothing lands so far. Okay, both pulling out the dart fly. Instead, they, both players did not decide to go BCG this game. Probably smart. Honestly, it feels like the next shot probably decides the winner here. Not because it was killed, because it'll put the other player in a critical HP range. Zai, not choosing to heal or tape. There you go. Finally cupped up a little bit. I think we'll be in range to survive one dart in case it happens. Great Sparrow, one versus one right here. Quarter HP for default, probably less, probably 10% HP. Zai looking very healthy, honestly, right now with half HP as well. Both players needing to reload as well. That dart landed so close to default otter. Default otter, if they exit the area down here to the south, they will be slash killed, but no. They go down, left, and around, coming face to face once again. All it will take is really one dart fly or one sparrow from each one of these players. Okay, it's gonna be a full reset and they're going to be drinking as well as taping up. And this is pretty much going to be more than half of Zai's juice and more than half of her duct tape, as well as more than half of Default Otter's Cup and more than half of his tape as well. Both full HP, both guns reloaded. Coming face to face! Zai almost took a melee there, decided not to instead. Zai, good movement, Zai. Hit by one, two darts. Oh my gosh, if one dart lands, it's over. One Sparrow, one HP. Bit of panic for both sides. Zai living if Zai goes out the left side, she will lose. Sparrow lands, but default otter. It looks like Zai may have panicked just a little bit by taking out that melee, and default otter was able to take a few extra shots on Zai while she had the melee out saver moving on next time and we're gonna head to the round two and if we make it to round eight right here then we are going to uh dq shaved and we'll replace them with 404s all right so next i need mm, music and a gamer one youtube guy whoa evie actually went bow Wait, Eevee went bow magnum? No jag for Eevee. Saw the purple and did not care. Eevee saying, I do not need close range. I'm going to win this with long range the whole way here. And yes, straight magnum shots. It's not. Shots from Eevee. And they will take down 
um, edits or sleepy and send them down to the losers bracket. All right, like I said, I need Eddie and I need Nexoria. Let's get it. All right, running back the research map. Here you go, Eddie versus Nexoria. Nexoria going for BCG. To oh, both players going for BCG. Thomas gun. One egg lands. Eddie. I don't know what Eddie's doing. Eddie was treating it like this was just a friendly picnic. But one, two, three eggs land, and Eddie is going to be out of there just as fast as he came. Eddie will have a chance to make a comeback in the loser's bracket. All right, get it on. Magma versus 404s. Let's see what happens. Magma playing a little bit sneaky off the rip. I think I did just hear Thomas Gun. Indeed, yes, I did. Thomas Gun versus Thomas Gun so far. Coming, literally making out with each other. Dude, giving each other mouth to mouth. Shots landing. Magma, 1 HP, 4 4s, takes down Magma. No problem though. Magma will go get to hang out in the bottom of the bracket. Uh, 4 4s, you're playing back to back. Because now it's you versus Sema. And once again, guys, you must stay within the checkered floors of the palace. BCG versus BCG. Looking pretty. Bro, you're walking jump scared. That's crazy. Getting shot here in the top right. Eggs coming out. One, two, three. Oh, no. Both people landing eggs. Both players are one egg away from death right now. Let's go ahead. Four of Force went and took a shotgun as their second weapon. Oh, both players took shotgun as their second weapon. So at any time, people can go ahead and drop the BCG and go ahead and try to run in with the shotgun. Dude, Sema doing a good job of hiding in the big penguin's head. Good prediction does not land though. Mom's kind of bobbing and weaving, not even holding out the BCG. Might have given up on the BCG, to be honest. Both players holding out shotguns. Eggs going anywhere except... Yes, you get a second chance in the loser's bracket. I already said that twice. Come on. It's not loser's hangout. It's a loser's bracket. All right. Mom getting rushed with the shotgun. Armor goes down and 404 is going to take it. Good luck, have fun. We did not get to check out the weapons previously. Dual pistols and shotgun for encrypt. Trying to play close with the shotgun does not land for now. SMG Mayhem holding down mass one. Encrypt landing so many shots with these dual pistols. Both players are going to be one HP and encrypt. Making it quick, simple, and easy against Mayhem. Mayhem's going into the loser's bracket. Next, we have Bindy Bay, aka one chip against. Rookie. Rookie's first game of the tournament so far. All right, research labs, here we go. Buildings are allowed. You just cannot leave the rectangle of the research labs. One chip versus Rookie. Will we see Rookie dominate like he normally does? Or will there be a little bit of an upset this game like we saw in the Draven game? Rookie corner peeking that wall very well. Taking shots. One, two. One month of Nitro. This is $10. That's why I said $10 prizes for everyone. Um... One chip has landed a few shots on Rookie coming face to face. Rookie down to one HP. One dude, we have been seeing some interesting upsets today. Rookie is going to fully disengage and let's go ahead and watch one chip for a little bit. Now one chip did go SMG Jag almost taking out Rookie. That would have been an incredible little moment there. One chip kind of hunting for Rookie. Now he needs to be kind of careful because uh, there was a jag down as one of the random weapons, and that could make this very awkward if you run into a jag. Rookie, left side research, fully healed. Yeah, one ship decided to play a little bit slower, which is completely fine. Rookie, one ship face to face, shots coming out, no shots landing for either side. No, psych. One ship did land two tape over here. Yeah, as long as you stay within the rectangle of research labs for this one, Draven. Nice. And that's why you have to be careful. All it took was two expert shots from the Jag player, and that called it done. All right, one chip. You will have a chance to play, fight it out in the loser's bracket, but for now, Rookie is going to be moving on. And next, we have our last round of winner's bracket round two, and that is Saver versus Ash. 
Actually, this person did not return, or uh, default did not decide to go the deagle at all. Very interesting choice. Ash coming face to face with default, both playing behind this little fountain right here. Ash is going to be 1 HP. Oh my gosh, both players 1 HP! And default hits the bow shot and Ash missed the SMG shot. That was one of the closest games we have seen so far. Default ladder moving on. Ash going to the loser's bracket. All right. Winner's bracket round three is ready, but let's go ahead and do loser's bracket in case anyone else has to move on with their day, shall we? So first up, we have Ash. Ash, you're playing back-to-back -back games. Ash Shameful and Suhei in the first game of loser's bracket. Here we go. Hunting rifle AK versus hunting rifle AK. Ash out of the tournament. All right, Mega actually decided to go BCG here, so we're not going to see a sniper jag mirror match here. Magma gets hit once by the egg and instantly starts running away, trying to tape up and trying to heal as well. Mega taking a peek. North right comes face to face, lands the jag shot, misses the snipe though. 1 HP for both players. If anything lands, it will be over. Dude, Magma did use one tape, so, or not Magma, Mega used one tape, so Magma should probably want to back up and start up a heal. It looks like both players are gonna choose to fully reset here. As we can take a look at the entire Bamboo. Oh, you're right. Magma did say that. Magma said if I had a sniper, I would body anyone, didn't they? It's really word for word, bar for bar what they said. Let's see it then. Playing quietly with the jack behind the wall. One shot comes out, two shots come out. Magma looking so low, trying to egg. Mega trying to egg does not land, so stepping away. All right, reloading both guns. Mega looking for them to kind of send an egg across the screen. Yeah, I thought having two snipers and two jags in the game would make this a pretty quick round, but everyone is just playing at the peak range of everywhere they go. That's missing, egging himself, no type applied for Magma, and Mega will take them down. And Magma is gonna be out of the tournament just like that. Next up, we have Sema versus Draven. All right, uh, Sema is out, Wise Old Man moves on. Next we have mm, Music and Zai. I need Bindy Bay and I need Suhei. All right. All right. Another disqualification. I hate bubble cups. All right, Suhei moves on. Mayhem versus Mega. Ooh, interesting. Saw security. Shots already coming out. Didn't even get to see really any fighting happening there. Mega had already taken one dig shot. So Mega trying to heal on the top left right now. Mayhem going all the way around. I don't think uh, eating ice has a gender to it. I'm not going to lie. Mayhem running away. Mega face to face trying to shoot a shotgun shot. Neither of them landing. Mega still without three tape. Or Mayhem rather. These freaking M names, man. Mega and Mayhem. You missed your round by like three minutes, dude. We did two more rounds after you didn't shot for yours. One shot, two shot. Neither of them landing. Both have no tape. Are they going to choose to fight or not? I am very surprised that Mega did actually not take the shotgun. Deagle and single pistol for Mega. Shotgun and Deagle for Mayhem. Remember, if they go outside of this south door, they will be slash killed. Mega and Mega just went out of... Should I just let that side? Because it wasn't inconsequential. 
Just keep going. Screw it. All right, Mega full HP. Mayhem deciding to just keep one piece of tape on instead of fully taping. Now you would have to. Oh no, they're gonna be so good on ammo. It's gonna be fun. This could be the end right now. I'm gonna F1 so we don't even know who's about to die. No, I don't think in either player did even landed a shot there. Honestly, a bit of a sleeper 1v1. Just no one being able to hit their shots currently. Mega face to face with Mayhem. Mayhem has used that spot behind the roof way too many times. Mega knew exactly where they were the entire time. Single pistol shots coming out. Mega has no tape. All it will take is two deagle shots. What's going to happen here? Man running up on Mega. One, two pistol shots landed. One HP really for both players. One bullet lands for either one and the game will end. Both players reloading to go. Mega choosing to heal bottom left. Mayhem running to the top right and they're both getting full heal. Oh boy. What a spicy little event here. Both full healing. Mega couldn't even full heal with the amount of juice he has left. Gets hit immediately. Both players once again returning to one shot and both players walking away. Both players have used all of their tape. Both players have used more than half of their cup. What is happening right now? This is currently a no tape battle. Mayhem versus Mega coming face to face once more. So close to one another. Deagle shot, next Deagle shot wins. Oh my gosh, what is happening? No one is landing their shots or anything. Are you from the suburbs? No, I'm in a more rural area now. By rural, I don't mean that there's farms or anything near us, but we live um, with a lot of woods around us. All right, players are going to be using literally the rest of their juice. There is now no more juice and no more tape for either one of these players. This is by far the longest 1v1 that we have seen so far. And Mayhem survives with one HP and takes them out. Mayhem, who was lacking some serious confidence there, is able to just barely squeak this one out. All right, we have Edits versus Zai. Edits, who has honestly had a long break since their last match. We're going to have to see if they can lock in. Players are teleported to the research lab. Sleepy versus Zai. M16 shots coming across the board already. Dual pistols being crossed out. Sleepy Zai face to face. All armor gone and one damage done. Clumsy, you would have had to been here one hour and 30 minutes ago. Sleepy gets taken down. Zai moving up and edits is going to be out of the tournament. Zai moves on and will be fighting. Wow, Zai actually just moved all the way on. Wait, what the heck? Wait, Zai just got to move for free so far in the loser's bracket because Dino Salmon's gone. So look, Zai is already up here waiting for um, whenever this match happens. Very interesting. All right, Gamer 1 and Eevee back to the winner's side round three. Let's see who is headed to the winner's finals with Encrypt. This is Gamer 1 YouTube versus Eevee. Wow, M16 dual pistol silence pistol is crazy, by the way. M16 silent pistol for Eevee. Neither player wanting to run into a trap. You know what? We're not going to turn on HP this entire time. We're going to have no clue how close people are to death. Coming face to face. Silent pistol. Lots of shots going off. Probably broke all the tape there. Eevee getting aggressive. I have no clue, Zod, to be honest. Oh, 
Coming down to one HP here for one of them. Someone has to be ready to die here, right? Not turning on HP. This is going to be a surprise to the very end. And whoa! Eevee actually went down. Gamer won YouTube quarter HP. Gamer moving on. Eevee going to the loser's bracket. We'll have to see where they plug in in a second. Ooh, Eevee versus Mayhem down there. That's going to be dangerous. All right. Shaved Throne versus Nexoria. Can Shaved join and play in this 1v1 tournament? Oh my gosh, it's already happening. Someone could already be winning. Shaved Throne versus Nexoria. Pressing F1. No one is going to be able to see the HP or the armor. Nexoria playing so aggressive so quickly. Knows that they hit one dart around at half. Dude, I put SPF 70 on my bald head. I lathered that hoe on my head. I have no idea how I got like this, dude. Okay, dude. Uh, Hazard, go ahead and run that one up. Hazard. All right, Thomas Gun. Both players decided to go Thomas Gun. Yo, Draven, for real, you're the only bot in this freaking chat. Can you? I'm modding Suhei. Suhei will actually do something, dude. Where's Suhei at? Never mind. Suhei hasn't typed in chat in a million years. Oh, wait. Suhei's right there. I'm stupid. So, hey, if default utter says you look like my uncle that touches me, you have my full permission to ban them. It perma lags because you have your um your thing on. Alright, half HP for shaved still. Nexoria, one tape down. Ooh! That was actually such a good melee by Shave Throne! Nexoria, one HP, Shave Throne! has every advantage in the world right now. One bullet away. Has to heal though. Felt the panic of getting hit by a dark gun. And Nixoria is gonna start full healing after Shave got them to one HP. Draven, your stream is so far behind mine. Your stream is so far behind mine because you have the um, ad blocker on which is lagging your stream, dude. You did it like three and a half minutes after I asked you to. All right, both players full HP once again. Next story, uh, completely out of tape. Only has one tape on. Needs to trade some shots here. Wow, next story landing. All three bullets. Shave ran right into them. Face to face. Who's going to land more shots? Shave throat having to run away because you have a ad blocker. YouTube now reads if you have an ad blocker and then purposely um, lags streams and videos when you watch it, but on streams there's no ads, so you can just pause the ad blocker while you're watching a stream. I'm not even getting the action, I'm drinking. Both players cupping. Shave Throne has been doing very good to conserve his tape. Next Aurea. No tape, full HP, no, barely any juice left. Shave is in an excellent spot, has done a lot of extra damage and has taken a lot less damage. Shave Throne needs to just not throw and just to execute a little W here. Shave Throne out of tape, but still Nexori has no tape. Shave just needs to lock in. He has pretty much every advantage in the world. Let's take a look at ammunition real quick. One. Dark gun shot left, and Shaved has more armor in the dark gun as well. Oh my gosh, coming face to face, and Shaved somehow threw his massive advantage. Did not land a single bullet on next area there. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so wild. Has no idea where next area is. Oh, may have heard them last second. That bullet lands as well, but that dart lands. No tape, no HP for Shaved, and Nexoria just ran out of juice. No resources for either player. If Shaved Throne can hit a few sneaky darts, this can be over as fast as it starts.
Face to face, one dart lands. Oh my gosh. Could have won the match there with a dart. That went to the absolute end of the rope. Shaved should have won the game earlier, but decided not to push when Nexoria had one HP left. But that is not the end of the tournament for Shave Throne. Shave Throne is now headed to the loser's bracket, but still has a chance to win our prize. Uh, next, we have uh, Rookie versus Saver. Oh, never mind. I died all the way over there. All right, Rookie and uh, Default. Okay, never mind. I couldn't even explain the round. All right, never mind. I should have expected that out of Rookie. I didn't even get to explain where we were or who was playing. All right, that just happened. That might have been the fastest round of the day so far. All right, now we have the loser's bracket. We have Shaved Throne versus Suhei. The first game of the third round of loser's bracket. Dude, look at these loser brackets matchups, man. Shaved and Suhei, legends. Eevee and Mayhem, legends. Default Otter and, and Draven, legends. Okay, we're, the, we're back to the, uh, it's a, whatever this place is called. Shaved versus Sue. Dartfly M16, two of Shaved's favorite weapons, I would say. Sue. <laughs> Wait, Shaved went double mouse one weapons. Never mind. Okay, autistic is too far. Autistic is too far. Come on. I work with students that have autism. Go ahead and delete that message. We don't have to ban them, just delete the message. Yeah, that's too far. Calling someone an orphan. <clears throat> All right, they're battling it out here. Oh, good shots from Shave. Landing three in a row, taking all three tape off of Sue, but Sue is going to return some fire though. I should have known that Shave was going to go for the double mouse one weapons or right trigger. Yeah, the spam loadout. Ooh, Sue actually kind of perfecting the spam right there as well. Sue pushing, lands on the bullet, canceled Shave's tape as well. This is getting dangerous in a small hallway. Are they going to be able to escape a Thomas gun mouse one? No. Sue takes down Shave. Shave leaves with a respectable seventh place finish out of 20 competitors ggs ggs and next we have eevee versus mayhem wow silence pistol eevee face to face may lose to mayhem oh never mind Tar tarzanids no way poke just said tarzanids should we prim them no way they just messed up the king of the jungle's name like that eevee moving on goodbye mayhem Great work though, Mayhem. I didn't think you were gonna beat Mega, to be honest. And you beat Mega, good job. All right, we have Default Otter versus Draven. All right, heading to the Welcome Center. So Default Otter went BCG, Minigun, and Draven went for double specialty. Now in my head, Draven actually should lose this 1v1 to Default Otter because we saw earlier that Draven could not compete well at all with the specialty weapons, and now he picked up two specialty guns here. One egg lands for Draven. One egg lands for Default Otter. Both are now down a small amount of HP as well as one tape. It looks like they're both going to back up. They both tape, they both heal. Both reload re the BCG and they are back up. Eggs everywhere, all over the floor right now. Default Otter at some point is just going to pull out the minigun when Draven comes out in the open. Draven just not, oh my gosh. Default Otter, like I said, pulling out the minigun, taking them out. Double specialty weapons is not Draven's strong suit and draven will be out we are to our top eight we have gamer we have nexoria we have encrypt we have rookie we have suhei we have eevee we have S saver and we have zai 
we're going to go ahead and do the winner side now. So I need Nexoria and I need Gamer1 YouTube. Yeah, you got double double uh, specialty weapons in both rounds that you lost. That's kind of wild. Gamer1 and Nexoria. Versus Incrypt, both running it down middle right now. Rookie holding Mouse1 with that AK. Incrypt, 1 HP. Rookie trying to get a heal off. Rookie, this could come down to one shotgun shot. It does! Rookie misses the AK shot. Should have taken out the Jag for that close. And Encrypt wins with one HP. A big upset. Encrypt performing like an absolute psycho right now. And will be in winner's finals with Nick Zoria. Let's go ahead and hit the losers though. We have Suhei and Evie. All right, running it back. We'll probably play the rest of the games on the Bamboo Resort because honestly, it's my favorite map of the duels maps. And now that we are to the final few matches, I honestly just want to see ba people battle it out right here. Oh, you're right. I said if anyone asked me, if two EU players asked me to play on EU server, I would do it, but neither of them asked me. I would have done it if they would have asked me. All right, Suhei went M16BCG. Trying to hit some eggs. Definitely cannot see Evie over that main wall right there. No, I said if two EU players want to play on EU servers, I would let them do it. So they could have matching ping. And Suhei landing the M16 shots and takes out Evie. And Evie will be out of the tournament suhei gonna be fighting rookie i'll put on um eu servers for you guys if you want but first we have default otter versus zai to see who is playing gamer one in the losers bracket get started zai versus default otter zai doing good taking off the tape immediately with the ak default otter playing a little bit more about movement a little bit less aim default otter actually looking pretty low right now default otter juking trying to go back Default Otter's gonna actually be one HP. Is it going to be Zai that actually stops Default Otter's reign of terror? Coming face to face, that gets meleeed! Here is our bracket, my friends. We have Encrypt and Nexoria, winners, finals, getting ready to see who will be in the grand finals, but waiting in losers after our winners, finals games. We have Rookie and we have Suhei and we have Gamer and we have Zai. Let's go ahead and figure out our winners, finals match between Nexoria and Encrypt. All right, Nexoria versus Encrypt. We're gonna F1 this game. I don't wanna know the HP at all. Players took M16 single pistol and M16, um, is this the finals? No, this is winner's finals. The winner of this goes to grand finals and the loser of this goes to loser's finals and will await the rest of the losers to see who they're playing for third place. Remember, getting you top three gets you a prize. So all you need to do is Get to that top three. All right, players not really coming across each other so far, hanging out on this left side of the map. Not really wanting to start battling it out. I'm actually kind of surprised here. They're both just playing so Relax, this is so strange. I am gonna fall asleep, actually. I need to find oh, they're finally fighting, let's go. Dual pistols. M16, both players landing shots, trying to get a sparrow track, does not. Land it thus far. Oh, does get a sparrow track there. 
is going to have the extra information of a Sparrow Track trying to reload the M16. Does get the M16 off! And that was one shot to one shot. That was one shot to one shot. Great job, Encrypt, clutching that out, staying calm. Now, we know that Nexoria... Nexoria is still in the tournament. But Encrypt is in winner's final. So we know that Encrypt will at least get first or second place. But now all we have left is the loser. So I need Rookie and I need Suhei right now. Oh, you're right. Rookie instantly coming to the center. Suhei once again deciding to play the minigun. It's going to be AK Dark Gun for Rookie. Rookie finally hearing the minigun here. Is going to have to decide a strategic placement for them to stand. Guys, let's focus on the games here. We have two of... The, guys, both of you guys, if you did not know this, both of these players were in my last video talking about competitive games, right? We were talking about... These players were both in my tips and tricks from pro players video. Like, this is literally the best matchup that we could possibly have right here. Suhei Ruki battling it out. One of these players is going to get fifth place, and one of these players is going to... Um, move on to potentially fight Encrypt here in the losers finals. Dart lands. Suhei is about half HP. Actually, it was double darted. Suhei goes down to one HP. One dart is all I would take. And Rookie, guessing the location of Suhei off screen, landing the dart. And Suhei's monster losers bracket run will stop here. I need Gamer1 YouTube and I need Zai. All right, Zai already took one egg before we went even went to that screen. Zai also holding the BCG2, and I know there's going to be a lot of creative options for weapons here. There's going to be a lot of play... Oh my gosh, that is why they went to a default white skin. Literally hiding in that sneaky spot. Zai finally noticed that they were hiding there after they moved their head. What did I just witness? In a 1v1 duel, a player hiding on the, gra on the ground, trying not to be seen, but didn't even really land a single bullet. Didn't really gain a competitive advantage from that at all. YouTube trying to do it again. Camera one, YouTube. Zai is going to be more than happy to just sit down here and heal. Egg goes out of bounds. Ooh. There you go. Cannot stand right up against it or it will bounce over the head. Gamer trying to still play sneaky. Zai finally full HP. Zai is down in so many resources. So, you would need to hope that Zai will uh, land some of these eggs here, land some of these Thomas guns, and begin to kind of bring it back. Gamer going for a sneaky strategy once again. Zai versus Gamer. Zai down to one HP. One more egg will do it. Gamer has to be out of BC Gamma, so ammo soon right yes only 10 bc eggs left and they're going to be completely out of specialty ammo zai still full on or zai 
Gamer one YouTube using their last two remaining tape. Both players looking at full HP right now. About to run out of eggs. Four things left. Thomas Gun finally here. One egg lands, loss of. Oh, egg lands, almost egg themselves, and Gamer takes it. I would not dance after that. I would not call that a victory. I would not call that a victory. All right, Rookie versus Gamer1 YouTube next, and hopefully, I do not have to do that again. All right, Rookie versus Gamer. Three matches left. If the winner of this game will be in the prizing. Rookie versus Nexoria. Loser of this third place, winner of this second place. Both players in the money, no matter what. Both players currently hanging on to a dart gun shooting where they are getting some sound cues. Nexoria, Rookie, finally coming across each other in the top side. Rookie coming left. Exoria trying to pre-fire every single corner that they can. Rookie would kind of hope to have gotten a sniper or a jag, but did not happen this game. Both players getting hit by one dart and both players back up to start healing. And they're crawling towards each other. They might come across once again. Uh, Rookie's second weapon is a single pistol and Nexoria picked up the minigun. I'm actually surprised that Rookie did not pick up the minigun. It probably is, I would think, is the best weapon to be able to win this game. Nixoria gets pinged by a dart. Nixoria gets pinged by two dart. They're going to be in range of one melee hit. Rookie looks like they're trying to run in for the melee. They have to be so careful, though, because a minigun can turn so fast and so hard, especially in a place that's open like this. One dart lands, two dart lands, three dart lands, but Rookie kills with the single pistol before the poison could kill Rookie. Intense close match down to the wire. See you later, Nexoria. You had a good run, but Nexoria will be out in third place, and we have a Rookie versus Encrypt. All right, Encrypt and Rookie coming face to face. Encrypt already landing one purple dart fly shot. Encrypt, half HP. Encrypt, or Rookie lands another one. Encrypt is going to be at true one HP, and Rookie is going to be on the chase trying to get a melee kill. Encrypt kind of shooting some warning shots off screen. Lands the dart from downtown. And Rookie is going to take off Encrypt for a bracket reset. What a shot there. What a shot from Rookie. All right, the true final, the 39th match, the final match, Encrypt versus Rookie. All right, Bamboo Forest, this might be over extremely quick, so do not even blink. Do not let your eyes leave the screen because we have Rookie versus Encrypt, both players creep rolling max range trying to get information csgo timing there both players stopped creep looking in the same direction right when they walked by each other very interesting start so far i need to go ahead and try to peek at secondaries we have dual pistols and dual pistols so both players decide to go for the hunting rifle and dual pistols i have a feeling whoever lands the first hunting rifle shot will win it all that is my prediction Hunting rifle shots, Rookie and Encrypt. Both players just playing slow. They know what a tournament win here means. 20 players, a lot of them highly ranked in the competitive scene. And Encrypt lands the first hunting rifle shot. Oh my gosh, Rookie almost landing that hunting rifle shot right there. Having to dodge, oh my gosh. Rookie with a master class of movement lands that hunting rifle shot as well. Oh my god, that hunting rifle shot from Encrypt just landed 
one inch away from Rookie. Somehow Rookie is managing to survive one versus one scenario and Rookie gets revenge for earlier, resets the bracket and wins the tournament. GG's tournament is over. That was absolutely wild. I cannot believe he did not just die right there. And one last time, take a look at our bracket. Let's follow Rookie's track real quick. Rookie started in round two against Bindy Bay. One there, one against Default Otter. Lost to Encrypt. Got dropped here to the fourth round of losers. Beat Suhei, beat Gamer, beat Nexoria. Came back, reset the bracket, and won. Hey, Zai, Zai. Rookie got... Knocked to the loser's racket by Encrypt. You can't even... You can't even say nothing, man. Rookie, great work for another tournament win. If you need any of my footage, my POV for the surely upcoming video, comp 1v1 video, let me know. Encrypt, great work. Encrypt went straight crazy in the winner's side bracket. Let's follow Encrypt. Encrypt beat Mayhem, beat Dino. Beat Rookie, beat Nexoria. What a hard winner side bracket for Encrypt. Fought until the very end. Pretty proud of Suhei as well. Losing the Gamer 1, beating Ash, beating Bindy, beating Shaved, beating Eevee. Coming all the way back five matches later, finally getting dropped to Rookie. Take a look at Gamer 1 as well. Gamer beating Suhei, beating Music. Beating Eevee, losing to Nexoria, dropping all the way to the loser's bracket. Beating Zai, and finally losing to Ruki. Very, very good event. I will save this bracket. I will post a picture in the Discord for you guys. I appreciate everyone for hanging out. That is actually the end of today's stream. I played three hours of beach volleyball. I am sunburned, and I am exhausted. Love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out, as always, and I will be back.